all right you guys welcome back to my channel now the saga continues and i called it i called it i knew this was gonna happen i told you i said your girl talked too much and she is not gonna stop talking but if y'all haven't noticed out here shakana and tiny are no longer friends well i'm not gonna be the one to say they're no longer friends but they did unfollow each other and it's seeming that they are not as close as they used to be now if you guys didn't know what was going on, you know, Shekinah was out here basically spilling the beans and telling all of these people business before the allegations and before the trial even started. So she was the one that kind of set this whole thing off by running her mouth to the media, not once, not twice, but several times. And then she had Sabrina's name in her mouth, accusing her of all these things. Let me just go ahead and just replay a, a snippet of what was being said. She ain't talked about nothing about how she me can tell. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> why she ain't talking about how she done sucked? Why wouldn't you talk about that? Let's get into it. <laughs> yeah. Y'all want to talk about that? Get into it. I'm trying to figure out why she ain't told y'all how much she done ate. Why she ain't told y'all about she one of the women who used to go recruit them What's up? Hey. <laughs> hey. Now they go to real seat. They go ask her why she ain't told she been getting. And she women empower me. Why she didn't tell y'all that she done had some of that all right you guys now see what i see is not only is she just calling out sabrina peterson but she's calling out her best friend tiny and she is calling out tia because she said why aren't you telling these people that you effed both of them why ain't you telling them you got some of that d why you ain't telling them you was in all of this mess so she basically confirming that all this stuff was going on while trying to call out sabrina you are calling out your best friend so that's right there in itself is a little shaky it's a little fishy to me and i I don't blame tiny for unfollowing her because not only after that she put out some more videos and people are gonna watch it because they're out here for the tea they want to know what's going on and if you're willing to run your mouth and tell it they gonna listen to it now all of a sudden after this unfollowing takes place you got shakana back on here again and she on this video right here is, is uh what's happening you guys subscribe to this channel but i'm just clicking on videos right now not trying to take nobody's stuff but i'm just trying to let y'all know what's going on in here and trying to put the pieces together but shakana is stressed and depressed and wants the fans to leave her alone she wants them to leave her alone after she has been out here setting herself up and setting everybody else up let's see what she has to say on this video right here and pay legal fees and stuff i've learned my lesson okay stay nothing to do with you i am a climatologist i do have let me see i got in say i had to pay my own lawyer fees i had to pay my own lawyer fees no I, i'm paying my own lawyer fees by myself stay out folk business Cause ain't nobody gonna be here. Ain't nobody gonna save you but God. Ain't nobody coming for your rescue but God. Nobody ain't gonna even speak up for you but God. So I'm out of this shit. I'm, been, I'm, 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 out, I'm out of it. It done broke me down enough. I've been stressed out. I've been depressed. And I'm done. I done had to come out money to pay for a lawyer. I'm paying it. I'm done. All right, you guys, as you heard, she is stressed, depressed, and all the rest. And she has, you know, said what she had to say. The damage has been done. And if you guys didn't know, Sabrina Peterson also put her in the mix saying that she was a part of the scandal and said that she was out here recruiting women as well. So while Shakana was saying that Sabrina Peterson was the one recruiting the women, Brina clapped back and said that Shekana was part of the scandal too and Shekana didn't like that and she said only God can help her during this time and she is paying her own legal fee legal fees now she is not done because she did this live right here recently this says april the 14th today is the 16th so she is not done talking let yet even though she claims that she is done she is not done yet because she had more to say on this video right here let's check this out and see what she has to say following the unfollowing of her and tiny's relationship all right this is from uh let me see hold on 
All right, this is from Toxic Diamond Productions page. You guys follow her channel if you would like to. But let me go ahead and play what Shekana had to say on her live. Really? Hold on, let's go back. Let's go down memory line. Let me buy stuff for y'all, bitch. That's how much she's paying. Let me go to Google. Why don't you go to YouTube? If you go to YouTube and search, you know, it's so bad. She attached herself to my name. I never wanted to be attached to that bitch. She attached herself to my name, y'all. She get into it with me. Just so when you go on YouTube, you could pull up me and her getting into it because she want to be famous, honey. Shakana. Let me put in Shakana Tiny Friend. Let me show y'all how I put it in. Look what I put in. Look, look what I put in YouTube. Watch it. Look what I put in YouTube. You see how I can put Shakana YouTube, right? And watch when I hit search. Shakana Tiny. Okay. Now watch who gonna come up on this. Watch who coming. This hoe coming. This hoe coming. She comes up with anything my name attached to. <laughs> Let's see what she got to say about this shade room posting this, following her saying that her and Tiny was out the other night. We on the shade room. Don't nobody give a fuck. The shade room messy. They don't like black people either. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Hey. And they say we don't shade room now, but shade room don't like me. So I know damn well they ain't posting me right now. They ain't posting me in other motherfucking time. So why the fuck keep posting me in that shade room? You don't like me? Because they just don't. The other day it was so funny. This is what I want to know for shade room. Why you want to post this, but me, Tiny, and Toya was just out the other night dancing and having a good time. And y'all didn't post a video with all three of us. Y'all posted a video with just them two. So why the fuck you want to post this now, bitches? And I said it for the shade room. I actually think I want the shade room to take me the fuck off y'all shit. Cause I know y'all don't fuck with me. Okay? And that's for the shade room. Shade that. I'm ready to go. I'm high and I'm frustrated. I need to do something that I need to do. Have me a drink. Why yeah, you I'm crying? for the shade room. I'm talking about the other day. Look, let me show you what they posted. Let me show you what they did, me girl. On uh, my phone did. But if you had noticed, I went to, I went to um I went to Toy Party the other day. They posted, they didn't post me and me and all three of them. See, they took yeah. me out to post and they just posted them too. Like, I'm low budget. Like, I don't deserve to be posted. Like, I'm not a hard working woman a part of this society. See, took me out. I'm low budget. So, I was just trying to say what's up. Why you want to post me now for your own mockery speech? Take me down. You didn't post me when I was doing good. All right, y'all. Y'all heard that. So, I don't know what to believe. If they friends, if they not friends, did they unfollow each other? Y'all let me know in the comments. Now, this is just a whole big hot mess out here. And the people are talking about it. And um, her her best friends are getting fed up with the shenanigans. And sh while she is putting herself in a situation that she did not have to be in, this is the consequences that she is paying for this. All right, this is what she had to say about Sabrina Peterson um, accusing her of recruiting other girls. No, you better come on. Get on this live, girl. Please, get on the live, because you're a liar. Girl, get on the live, girl. I'm pinning you on purpose, girl. Get on my live. It ain't enough being into it, because y'all not going to keep fucking with me and my legs. You're not going to keep fucking with me. No, you're not. You're not. No, you're not. Now, what I got to say about this is when you first started talking about this whole ordeal, you implicated yourself. When you first started to tell everybody business and add all the names and all the details, when you did that first, you implicated yourself and the rest of the people followed along or else nobody would know about it. So it, it just baffles me how you can all of a sudden feel the heat when you was already putting the heat on. You was laying it on thick. Now, if this information just needed to come out, it needed to come out. If we have some victims involved in these things that don't need to be going on, 
is going on but at the same time it was left up for those people who are victims to speak their truth and to tell them but the way you did it was kind of sloppy you did it out of retaliation for a person that you don't like not just directly trying to help those victims because you could have been did that it's, it's it's about the motive of why you're doing it also even though you implicate yourself it's still the motives of why you're doing what you're doing at the same time so now tiny unfollow shakana and it was it was um bound to happen it was bound to happen all right it says tiny and shakana unfollow each other after sabrina peterson tells her to stop talking about the sexual assault claims against ti and tiny all right shakana anderson might have gone too far in trying to defend her friend tiny against sexual assault claims as previously reported dozens of women have allegedly have alleged T.I. and Tiny have drugged and sexually assaulted them over the course of several years. The accusation started after Tiny's former friend, Sabrina Peterson, alleged T.I. once held a gun to her head. Okay, so it says right here, the sad part about being a woman and being a black woman is this, the public praises our predators at Troubleman31. You put a gun to my head in front of my children and I never called the police on you. But for years, you have painted me as the villain, a black woman. It's hard to heal from rape, violence, or anything because you are painted as the problem or reason this had to happen to you. Let's normalize the, normalize the allowing black women to heal. It's so hard being the victim of rape and being painted as the reason it happened let's talk at keisha bottoms you can't be a person that has victimized women speak for us let's have a real talk all right it says right here tiny quickly questioned the claims major girl okay hold up so you want your abuser to train your sons you was just uncle he was just uncle two years ago now when did you say my husband assaulted you did you change your mind or change it back? What's up with you today, Pooh? I'm confused. Stop harassing me and my family. You strange. Everybody know you've been special. Face slicing seminar, lady. Please get help, but leave us alone. Shakana Anderson first spoke on the allegations in January, alleging Sabrina Peterson recruited women, as you guys seen in that first video that I played. And it says, while Sabrina filed a defamation lawsuit against her she jumped on shakana's instagram live video wednesday of april 14th with a message she commented not sure what your legal team is saying but woman to to woman stop talking about this legal matter online you are making the situation worse i'm actually feeling bad for you and that was that little short video that i played telling her when she was telling her to come on live since then, Tiny and Shikano have unfollowed each other on Instagram, as you guys can see right here. They do not follow each other anymore. And the two have been friends for years. And so this will be the first time that they have unfollowed each other. And as a result of that, it must be very serious because this has been a first. Now, I just wanted to add this on here. In the midst of all these allegations that was put out and all this sexual stuff that's been going on in, in the media and Hollywood and, and all of this weird stuff that's been going on, this sex, the sex scandals and how people have been taken down, Sabrina Peterson had something to say to the people. And I thought it was pretty interesting because it's something that we actually need to hear. And a lot of times when people have money and they get in these high places and that and they're able to explore their options and they're able to gain things and have things the way they want it based off of their financial status, it's not always a good thing. And there's other things that you have to pay for it, other uh pay for things that we choose to do, and there's consequences behind 
these things that we encounter. So let's see what she has to say about that. Are you, you, are you let him sleep with multiple women? Are you the goat? Huh? You know, the, the, the woman that only lets him sleep with one woman, she, 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 she too stuck up. Our community is fucked and fried. I ended up in the feds trying to keep that fucking image too. Down ass woman, the down ass woman is HIV positive. Sis. The down ass woman. The down ass woman has soul ties. Do you know that I actually was in an 11 year relationship and without leaving my bedroom, without leaving my bedroom, because my son's father had a fucking sex addiction and was sleeping with prostitutes from fucking Spain to goddamn Maine. But the average prostitute sleeps with anywhere from two to three phones. The average prostitute sleeps with two to 300 people a year. Based upon my calculations, he was with over 50 prostitutes. Without leaving my room, without leaving my bedroom, all right, you guys, you heard that she is speaking on how the, the community is effed up, the mindset is effed up, and while everybody's just trying to be out here being the down woman, trying to accept certain things, there's a consequence that you have to pay for that, and I'm just, you know, just putting that in there just in the midst of all the allegations and things people that they decide to do, you know, it's not always a good thing, it's, it's, it's fun, it's a it's a, a appealing lifestyle, but it's not always the best decision. I don't know who she said who she's speaking on this, but she was relating herself in the situation. So I'm not sure if she's saying she got it or or who has it or or who she was speaking on. But I just wanted to add that in there. You guys uh, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think about these shenanigans and all this hoopla that's going on out here in these streets. All right, you guys. Have a blessed day and I'm out.